What oh, what do I say, baby? Function over form. Function over form. We've been talking about these bamboo trellises for weeks now. So today we're gonna actually put my idea into action. I actually do have a plan for this. Um, we're gonna cut them to eight foot lengths, or actually just cut the bottom eight feet off of the bamboo and use those for our posts for our trellises. And then we're gonna try to split. I've never tried to split bamboo, but I think we can split each long piece of bamboo and use those as the horizontal pieces to trellis our tomatoes on. Uh, we're gonna at least try that. Um, it's raining today, we're in the barn, just kind of doing what we can. I need to be mowing grass, I can't be mowing grass because of the rain, but uh, so we're just gonna do something to make some uh, progress around here. You don't have to cut these with a uh, miter saw. Um, chainsaw works very well to cut this but this is just gonna be faster and easier right now. All right, Josiah and Jeremiah and Lydia and Jacob all helped me do that. Y'all can probably see how quickly that went. Um, of course, there was time lapse too, but it uh, went very smoothly. We've got a bunch of eight foot ones right here. How many of those are there, Josiah? Because we need to know, I think we need 21 of them. But we are going to split the rest of these. Unless I don't have 21, I'll cut a few more to make 21 posts out of one of these. But um, we're gonna split these so we get two pieces of horizontal bracing out of each one. That's the idea. So that's gonna be the next thing you're gonna see us do. And hopefully that'll work. All right, y'all, I know that I'm probably silhouetted because I got bad backlighting here. Um, nothing I can do about it because you can probably hear the rain hitting on the tin roof. We're going to try to split this bamboo. I've never done this before, but I did watch a YouTube video on some guys in the jungle splitting bamboo. So we're going to give it a shot. So what they did was they just took a machete and stuck it like right in the middle, kind of split it in half. Got it started. Like this. All right, come over here to the side. Okay. And then, if I got this foot enough, what kind of hook do you do? Then basically go pull the other end towards the jack stuff boys. Okay. Basically they just pull it like this. Over that's not working. Yeah, uh, no. Would it work to use the machete and just hammer it through the whole way? I think you've got to have them like right square in the middle somehow. So that's not working, is it? No. Yeah. Cool. Well, So that's a fail. Uh, I wanted to do a uh, do a horizontal trellis every foot, but that's not going to happen. If I cut two more pieces of bamboo, I can do a trellis every two feet, and I'm I'm pretty sure that everybody will be just happy and fine and dandy with that. Anyway, it's the best I can do. So that's what we're going to do, and. Uh, I think that'll work just fine. So I guess that wraps this up for today since they're not splitting and we'll have to wait for another day and actually go put the trellises in because I'm not going in the rain right now. I'm getting soaking wet. Those tomatoes don't need trellising that bad. Third and final attempt at splitting this bamboo. I tried splitting it from the butt end and it just tears out the side like a third or a quarter or halfway up. I tried splitting it from the skinny end. Same thing. Now I'm going to try to rip it in half with the table saw. I'm not really sure how it's going to cut. Ripping, I don't really know. I don't have any idea. It's either going to work or it's not. If it don't, I'll work with what I have. If it works, then that'll be awesome. That'll make it go a whole lot better. So here we go.
Hey y'all, trellising tomatoes, finally. Um, and cucumbers too. We bought this thing at Tractor Supply. Hopefully it works. I didn't buy it to plant things. I bought it because I have all these bamboo posts that I'm gonna put in the ground. And I'm hoping that this will dig a big enough hole to where the bamboo will go in. Like maybe I can drive it with the post driver, but still be tight. Uh, last year we tried trellising beans with bamboo and so i used the auger to dig the holes but i never could get them tamped back nice and tight so i'm hoping this will work we're going to try it and see all right so let's try this auger so i am going to do a post at two feet ish We'll have to tighten it up in the drill more, won't we, baby? Yep. Here we go. Okay. Here's to be working. All right. So here we go. That one might bust because somebody cut it. No. I think this is gonna work. We're gonna try it. Keep on rolling with it. Okay, well, I think this is gonna work, y'all. Um so far. Now we just gotta attach our horizontal pieces in and hopefully that'll work. Um, if they're not strong enough, we may have to add two more posts per row, which means we'll have to go cut 14 more pieces of bamboo. But uh, we're going to see. They might just sag too much, but I really don't know. y'all can see bamboo is incredibly strong like I can't believe how strong this stuff is we uh, drove it practically as hard as I could with our post driver and it's not a sissy post driver it's got a four inch by four inch by two inch thick block of steel on the end of it it's not one you buy at the store I made it in high school for some reason I don't know I guess I must have been a lot stronger then but uh it works great we we bored the hole with a little auger that i bought at tractor supply it was 10 bucks and uh just bored the hole which was still smaller than the bamboo but then the bamboo drove right down in it it was great and um the only thing that didn't work was i didn't think i meant to buy a string the other day uh while we were at the store and i forgot and I had masonry cord. Well, if you ever try to tie a, knot, a tight knot with masonry cord, it doesn't work well. So we're, uh, we'll have to get some more string. And uh, hopefully tomorrow, because these tomatoes, some of them are starting to lay over. They need to be trellised bad. So we'll get some string and tie these babies up. and uh, Or put our horizontal bamboo pieces on and tie these babies up. And uh, I think it's going to work really well. I hope. I mean, it seems like it will. So that's the plan. We almost got it all done today. The hard part is over with, driving all these bamboo pieces in the ground into the T-post. But anyway, so that takes care of this. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow putting the horizontal pieces on our bamboo, trellising these tomatoes. And uh, it's going to be awesome. I really think it is. Hey, y'all. Finally. I've got time, the weather's giving me a break, we're working on these bamboo trellises. They did not work as well as I hoped they would. I, I figured out a way to split them, which was rip them 
with the table saw. That took a while, um, and they're really flimsy. I'm not really, I wish I hadn't done that, but even if I hadn't, I still think I would have needed these T-posts in the middle. T-posts would have worked. Um, what would have been even, what would have been more natural would have been more bamboo, but I had T-posts laying around I was able to go get because I'm kind of in a hurry and it saves a lot of time from going and cutting bamboo, cutting all the limbs off of it and then cutting it into eight foot or uh, six foot lengths. So I think that my favorite trellis for, sorry, I'm down here. My favorite trellis for tomatoes for sure is cattle panels. Yeah. But we would have had to have, well, we're not in a permanent situation. No. So when we one day have our permanent farm, yeah. then we will build our permanent beds and all mm -hmm. of that and we will do we'll be able to invest and do the um cattle panels, cattle panels. We've, i mean we have some we bought last year but and we have a couple for the garden but we have used them for pigs and animals <laughs> yep they're not available for use yeah year. and plus i mean cattle panels we would have had to have oh, at of... least 14 at like 22 bucks a pop not even no. not even an option no. not that's when what, we can use this is going to work that's like what i mean when we have a permanent place and yeah. we're building infrastructure that's going to be there and last us years and years and years yes. and i don't mean all at one time you know we might put in five one year five right. you know, over the course of build four, it up. five years build it up but um this in is going to work though. this is going to work yeah it's kind of cool it's looking it's a course of like what, a week <laughs> It's uh, shoot, it's, I've been working on this for, the boys cut these probably a month ago. Oh yeah, they, they Then we cut them to length last week. Then we ripped them last week. And our tomatoes have not been big enough until like all of a sudden they're like, boom, we need yeah. to be trailing. Yeah, like these guys right here, yeah, especially a these two, were really... they were laying on the ground like over in the rows and I was like, baby, you need to get these up before the little dualies step yeah, on them. them this one right here is laying over. And this year, so, to tie my tomatoes up, I've done zip ties. They sell like little tomato clips, um, which work well on like cattle panels. Um, I've never tried them, but I know people use them and they work. But I'm doing like surveyor's tape or marking tape and it's just stretchy. And it was a couple bucks for this roll. I know they sell it on Amazon. We picked this up. Tractor it? Supply. I tractor Supply. Yep. And they have it in lots of different colors and I chose pink. <laughs> There's like orange and green, all kinds of neon colors. But um, I'm not tying all of them because they're not all big enough yet, but I'm going to get the ones that need to be tied and any that are big enough. Yes. That's totally beside the point. So anyway, you these, go on. I'm going to yeah. go back tying. <laughs> so what we did, come over here, Jack. Let me get by you, Lydia Grace. Jakey, let's have mommy have that chair. Here you go, baby. Yeah, I see. That's why I'm scared to death. Yeah. All that right. Make me a little nervous. Okay. So what we did is we just took some like sisal, sisal rope. I'm not sure how you say it. And just tied it across around behind the bamboo and then took a zip tie and zipped it tight which really it tightened it down to keep them from sliding down the bamboo now so that's what we're doing it's working um doesn't look quite as clean and neat as i hoped as you can see we look like a big black snake going down through there but it's uh what what do i say baby function over form function over form so you know I like function and form, but sometimes if you have to pick one or the other, and this is one of those instances. <laughs> so anyway, we'll, we'll set the camera up on time lapse and let it record the put in the rest of these in. I'm I kind of wanted, yeah, I kind of wanted to do a couple of them to figure out what the best way was. So we were figure out what we were doing. <laughs> yeah, pretty so much. So we could show you what we were exactly. doing. Exactly. All right. Well, here we go. All right, y'all. I ran out of bamboo, the horizontal pieces. We'll go cut some more. Not today, not tomorrow, not the next day, because we're busy uh, working, making money. But um, we got this done. Jenna's still pruning and tying up the ones that we got finished. She's gonna prune all of them. Um, we've had so much rain. I think today is the first day that it hasn't rained. I don't even know, at least and it's not calling for any more rain for the next tomorrow or the next day. So three days with no rain is going to help this garden a whole lot because it has been getting just doused every day. So um, 
a lot of the leaves are on the ground and we're getting wilted so she's pulling all those off and just letting them grow the tomatoes will probably just really launch after this so anyway that's the best I can do for right now until I get more time to cut some more bamboo but uh, I think that's gonna work very well I think so yeah I like it it's not like I said it's not the most aesthetic looking thing but it'll work